This might be the craziest takeover we've ever done. Because we're doing it with Man City, the world's best club. This is a team that's got Erling Haaland, Phil Foden, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, and I didn't even mention... Rodri! Bro, this team is insane, and I'm going to be managing them for the next 10 seasons. The goal is to win as many trophies as possible and break every record there is. And there is indeed one record that we're chasing. A few weeks ago, when I took over Real Madrid for 10 seasons, of course, we won countless trophies. Champions League final, Madrid don't lose. And accumulated a total of 73 points. Honestly, that record looks unbeatable. But if there's one team in the world that can break it, it's this Manchester City team. And here we go, guys. Season one with this Man City team. If we want to break the record, we're going to need to be perfect. And you guys know how the point system works. The Champions League is the most valuable with five points. The Premier League is three and so on. Honestly, the way this Man City team is, we should be winning the Champions League every season, the Premier League every season. That's just how good this team is. And the crazy thing is we've still got like 245 million to spend to improve it even more. I'll be honestly disappointed every time we don't win any of the big trophies. Bro, I'm already confused. What do I do for season one? There's no point changing the attack. Holland, Foden, Grealish? Yeah, Grealish can be changed, but I've got an idea for that. Kind of want to build up Julian Alvarez to play in that left wing position. Plus, we've got Jeremy Doku, who's another incredible player, so we're not touching the attack. The midfield for now with Bernardo, De Bruyne, and Rodri. Again, just perfection. But at the back, you know, Guardiola at left back? Nah, that's a bit sus. Maybe that's what we can do, bring in a left back. It's, it's really that tough. I don't even know how to improve this Man City team because it's that good. But you know what? Maybe using a bit of the Pep Guardiola connection, signing Balde from Barcelona. Ooh, I quite like that idea. He's only 81 rated, but he's 19 years old. I think if we bet on him, he's going to be super high rated very soon, and, and I think he'll fit perfectly in our team. Okay, guys, I know we're Man City, but nope. I, I'm not going to just pay the release clause. Nah, that's silly. And don't forget, boys, we're only allowed two signings every season. That rule is still there, but of course, with Man City, I don't think it's the transfers that's going to cause us problems. Only bad luck, I think, can stop Man City from breaking the record. Oh, and by the way, we've just completed the negotiations with Xavi for Balde. And just like that, we've made our very first signing here at Man City, it's Alejandro Balde who's moving from Barcelona to Manchester City. Ooh, with Balde coming in, look at that defense. Honestly, I don't think we need to make any more signings. This team for the first season is just perfect. Now I know a takeover with Manchester City is all about like buying the best players, but I kind of also want to develop a few players that are right here already. So over these 10 seasons, we're going to focus on players like Jeremy Doku. I really want to make him the next Eden Hazard, probably even better. The same with Julian Alvarez, the potential this kid Scott is unmatched. And maybe if we could transform Rico Lewis into the next Kyle Walker, that would be amazing too. Looks like we already have the first opportunity to get some points on board with the Community Shield final. Come on, guys. We're playing Arsenal. This should be a no-nonsense big... What? Wait, guys? I'm, I'm confused. We're supposed to be the invincible, unstoppable Man City and Arsenal have beaten us to the Community Shield? Okay, this is not the start I was expecting. Maybe breaking Real Madrid's record is going to be a lot harder than I expected. Okay, at least we finally get some points on board by winning the UEFA Super Cup, but it's only worth a point. But hey, every point counts. The most important thing though for us is to win the Premier League, and so we're getting through the season to see how we do. End of the season, and of course, Manchester City win the Premier League. Was there ever any doubt? I'm actually thinking we might be able to go 10 Premier League wins in 10 Premier League seasons. That would be just tremendous, but for now, four points. Oh, make that six, because we've just won the FA Cup. Oh my god, if Manchester City City just won everything. That's eight points in just our first season. Bro, I'm telling you, we're going to break all sorts of records with this Man City team. But the big one is the Champions League and we have got out of our group, knocking out PSG and Real Madrid. That's big. Bro, we've legit made the Champions League final in the first season itself. It will legit be crazy if we actually pull this off and win this. Like, honestly. And there you go. Champions League trophy in the first season itself. Are you actually kidding me? 13 points points in season one with this super Man City team. It's it's crazy. Bro, in the first season itself, we've taken Man City to a treble. Bro, what? How did Phil Foden have a season like this? He's become literally the English Messi. Holland, of course, had to keep scoring and that's what he did. Kevin 
De Bruyne from midfield. 28 goals. Nah, that's outrageous. Also, look at the growth on Julian Alvarez and Guardiol even. Everybody performed this season. And looks like the one transfer we made in Balde has been a massive success as well. But this is just the first season. We need to be consistent like this for the next nine so we can break the record. Season two and we are coming for that record. Already a couple of changes in the team without making any signings. Guardiol has now become 86 rated. Of course, he's going to be a starter. I feel bad for John Stones because he's so good, but even he doesn't get into the team. Julian Alvarez as well. He's a starter now too. 85 rated. It's time. But there's one position I think we need to make a signing to improve this team and that's right back as Kyle Walker. He's 34 down to an 80 overall. I mean, we have Jao Cancelo who's back from his loan spell. Can you imagine? City's so good that they literally loaned out a player of his talent. But you know what, guys? Instead of signing anyone or making Cancelo number one, I kind of want to keep trusting Rico Lewis because I genuinely think he's got the potential to be one of the best right backs in the game. And so we've made the decision to sell Jao Cancelo. Now, you might be thinking, crazy to sell an 86-rated player to trust a 78-rated player, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Another big decision we need to make is Kevin De Bruyne because he's 33. He's not gone down in his overall just yet, but his contract's expiring. And you know what? I think I'm not going to renew his contract. I would rather have De Bruyne end his Man City career at the very top as captain. We're going to keep him for this season, but it's going to be his last one. This team, even with Rico Lewis in there, is just unbelievable. We won everything last season. Time to do it all over again. No, 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 no. What just happened here? I didn't notice. I really didn't notice. What? Of all the clubs in the world, Fulham have somehow signed Josco Guardiol. He Bruh. literally got promoted to a starting centre-back role this season. Nah, that is actually outrageous. I really didn't expect any club to pay like any release clause for our players because in the Premier League, not compulsory to have any release clauses. But how did this happen to us? Well, anyways, we've got 500 million and I guess we're gonna have to make it count by bringing in a new centre-back. Losing Guardiol was painful, but we're Man City and we're not playing. And so I've signed one of the most promising defenders in the world, Matthias De Ligt. It just hit me that Delict's like 23 and he's literally played for some of the top clubs in like every league. Ajax, Juventus, Bayern Munich and now Man City. But he's got big shoes to fill of Josco Guardiol. It was an unexpected transfer but one that we had to make. It's now time to focus on the trophies. Last season the only trophy we lost was the FA Community Shield. This time around I want to literally win everything and there you go we start off with the Community Shield. That puts us on 14 points already and and of course, another season of winning the Premier League. This is a Super Man City team. 17 points now. UEFA Super Cup in the bag, so 18. Another FA Cup means 20 points. Okay, finally Man City have taken an L and it's the Carabao Cup, but that's fine. Because Man City have reached yet another Champions League final. Back-to-back -back CL trophies to start off with will just be crazy, but no! Harry Kane! Ah, oh, I feel like teams like Bayern, Real Madrid and PSG are only going to be our competition. And well, we see that right now as Harry Kane gets the better of us. Fair enough. Ah, this has annoyed me seeing Kane with the Champions League. Just shows that on paper, we might be a perfect team, but on the pitch, anything can happen. I mean, look at De Bruyne, another incredible season. I would have loved to have his final season for the club, him lifting the Champions League trophy, but nah, wasn't to be. But just look at this season. Haaland's having Foden as well. Alvarez too. 20 points after two seasons. We're off to a great start, but let's not slow down. Let's get back to winning the Champions League next season. We're now in our third season with Man City. And honestly, the start we've had so far, 20 points after two seasons, it might be a record for the series. Madrid 73 genuinely looks beatable by this all-star Man City team. But you know what? Things are actually going to get interesting for us now because we've got the job of replacing Kevin De Bruyne. He's gone. Who can we bring in? Because honestly, the rest of the team I'm pretty happy with. All we need is to figure out a replacement for KDB. Since we are trying to beat Real Madrid's record, it might be worth getting a player from Real Madrid itself. Yo, Jude Bellingham just would fit perfectly. He's super energetic, can go up and down the field. This is like the perfect KDB replacement. And I guess it's finally time to bring Jude to England. Oh, and look at how expensive Jude Bellingham is. But I think with a signing like this, we're going to win the Champions League once again.
And there you go, guys. We're bringing in one of the world's best midfielders to Manchester City. Now, that's what I call a top-tier replacement for KDB. It feels like he's not even left. We can still spend money to improve the rest of the team, but I kind of want to keep trusting Rico Lewis, as well as the youngsters like Alvarez. Phil Foden is obviously doing incredibly well. I'm just amazed at how good this team is. It's time to get back to winning the big trophies like the Champions League. End of the season, and we've won yet another Premier League title. That's 23 points. But hold up. What's the record for consecutive Premier League titles? I'm just checking and it looks like it's three. Man United and even Man City have done it before. If we win the Premier League title next season, it's going to be a new record. But first, let's see how many more trophies. Um, How have we just allowed Spurs to win a trophy? Thankfully, we do win the FA Cup, which puts us in 25. And the Carabao Cup, so 27. But wait, what? Champions League knocked out to Barcelona on pens? No KDB and looks like things were a bit difficult. I mean, we still won everything domestically. I don't know what went wrong. I mean, Holland scoring, Foden, Bernardo, Julian, they're all doing well. Bellingham had a good first season. That's the thing with the Champions League, man. It's just so random at times. It's not necessary that the best club always wins. But still, 27 points after three seasons is good. We need to keep pushing. Season four, and it kind of looks like the pressure's building up. I mean, yeah, 27 points, three seasons is, is great. We're on track to beat Real Madrid, but we haven't won the Champions League in the last couple of seasons. And this is the period where we've got so many players in their prime like Bernardo, Rodri. Soon they'll be old, Edison even, and, and, and we'll have problems. This season, we need to get back to winning everything. And that's got me thinking, Rico Lewis, I've trusted you from the start, but you've not really repaid that faith. I'm gonna give Rico one more season, but I need a lot of growth from him. Apart from that, we need a big season from Julian Alvarez as well, because he's kind of slowed down. This is a big season, boys. We're not making any signings because the the team is great. It's still a relatively young squad as well. Let's see if we can get back to winning the Champions League. But before anything else, I want to see if we've won the Premier League again. That will mean four consecutive Premier League titles and a new record. By the looks of it, we are in the top four at least. Okay, top three and a lot of the big teams are below us. This is it. This is it. And yes, indeed, four consecutive Premier League titles. That is mental. That puts us on 30 points already. 31 because we thrashed Liverpool pool in the community shield final but wow for the first time we didn't win any of the domestic cups but this time we did make the champions league final let's go also this season we finally saw some crazy growth on rico lewis we gave him another season and i think it's worked out really well but not just him erling holland is up to a 96 overall rodri is 93 ruben diaz is 92 bro the team we've got it's just it's just crazy guys okay, soon we're gonna have a full team of 90 plus rated players. All we need is Julian Alvarez and Rico Lewis to go up in their overall. This is nuts. And stats-wise, Erling Holland with a 50 goals plus season, bro. He's crazy and the fact that he's 26, it's just nuts. But to be honest, all those goals are worthless if we don't win the Champions League. So let's see if we can beat PSG. Yes, we can. Holland and Alvarez with the goals. And that puts us on 36 points after four seasons. We're already breaking records with this team. I'm curious, how far can we actually take this by the way guys we're getting closer and closer to a million subscribers and if you guys can subscribe to the channel help out a bit that would really mean a lot guys we're now in season five and already this is a record-breaking premier league team at this rate it's gonna be the greatest premier league team of all time that we're building but one more thing i want to kind of try and do is get this team to like 99 overall for everyone or at least close okay let's do 95 plus in every position that's gonna be challenging all while we need to continue racking up points so we can of course take over that record from Real Madrid. What I am thinking though is that does this team need any more signings? I mean, we've basically got unlimited money. I'm looking at the older players and we've got Edison, probably the oldest, John Stones, Bernardo Silva. But I think right now our squad is in its prime. Let's make the most of it. Another Premier League season gone by and it's five in five. Yo, we've won five Premier League titles in a row with Man City and this one on goal difference. That was close. 39 points. Oh, yeah. come on. Lost the Community Shield to Man United? No FA Cup as well? No Carabao Cup? Bro, this, why is this season so bad? We did win the UEFA Super Cup, so we're up to 40 points. But Bayern Munich knocked us out in the Champions League. Yo, Bayern Munich have been so annoying. They they beat us, like, before as well. I think it was a final. And now again. So annoying. But at least on the other side, almost our entire team is 90 plus rated. Just Rico Lewis is left. We really are building the craziest team in FC 24. 
score, but I think we might need to change a few things if we want to get back to winning the Champions League. It's now time for our sixth season as Man City boss. We're on 40 points right now on track to break Madrid's record, but I think the reason why the Champions League isn't going as well for us is because we've kept the core of this team just way too similar. We need something different this season, something new, and maybe that something different will come by replacing Bernardo Silva. I'll be honest, he's 33, 90 overall, but he's only gonna get worse. Maybe now's the right time. And since we're trying to build literally the best team in FC24 here, I see no reason why we shouldn't sign Jamal Musiala, bro. This would be insane. We're Man City, we can do what we want. And looks like for 223 million, we're about to sign Musiala. And hang on, that's another record we've broken. The biggest transfer fee in football. And with that, Jamal Musiala is joining Manchester City. I'll just say this, boys. What a freaking team this is. Oh my days. But can it get us the Champions League? Well, at least this team has got us yet another Premier League for six seasons in a row. We've just had Man City winning the league. That is just unbelievable. Up to 43 points. 44, because this time Community Shield's in the back too. 46 for winning the FA Cup. Now we're talking, boys. 48 for the Carabao Cup. This has been a perfect season so far. And yes, indeed, Manchester City have made another Champions League final. Yo, we're so close to also having our first 99-rated player, and it's probably going to be Erling Haaland. Bro, look at this version of Haaland that we've created. Bro, he's, he's broken. It feels like every season he's scoring 40-plus goals. But come on, what matters is winning the Champions League. Can we do it again? But what? Oh, that's what I'm telling you, man. It's not so easy to break Real Madrid's takeover record. There's so much luck involved, especially the Champions League. But you know what? This team we've built is so freaking incredible. We're going again next season and we will win the Champions League. We've made our way to the end of season seven and by the looks of things, it's yet another Champions League final. No way, we've got a rematch against Barcelona. Are you kidding me? But also I'll tell you this, our points total is 48 right now and that means we're still 25 points off Real Madrid's record. And bro, if we keep losing Champions Leagues, I think we might not break the record. So this final, it's important. But first we continue the tradition of winning Premier League after Premier League. That's seven in a row. Now I kind of want to just win all 10 Premier League titles. But yup, that puts us on 51 points. 52, another community shield in the bag. Oh, but we didn't win any of the cups. And so it's all down to this. We need to win the Champions League. Come on, man. We're not losing two seasons in a row to Barcelona. Nana, nah, absolutely not. And there you go. Julian Alvarez with the goal. Champions League for Man City and that puts us on 57 points. We're just six 16 points away from the record, but it's not going to be so easy to break it because we've got a few big decisions to make next season. Season 8, and the big decisions we need to make is regarding the older players. Look at this, boys. My boy Edison is 36 years old. John Stones has gone down massively. Bernardo Silva is 35. And yeah, just most of our top players are getting old, especially Rodri and Ruben Diaz. But you know what? I think for one more season, we can keep the first team intact. But if we want to do that, we're going to have to invest a bit on our bench because man Grealish and John Stones are not good enough to be there and for that reason we're investing in squad depth by signing players like Cole Palmer that's right boys the Manchester City wonder kid is finally back at the club I still can't believe City sold him to Chelsea in real life but yeah Cole Palmer is going to be a solid option to have on the bench along with Jeremy Doku and all but I think we still need a backup center back now that John Stones and Akanji have kind of fallen off and for that we're bringing another former Man City player back this time it's Eric Garcia 82 overall. I think he'll do the job perfectly on the bench. We've done our job on improving the quality on the bench, but the truth is it's the first team that's going to win us the big trophies. And honestly, it's still an incredible first team that we've got. We're on 57 points with Man City now. Three seasons to go. This City team is getting closer and closer to breaking the record. Nah, nah, nah. This is crazy. We've made it to the end of the season and it's a centurion season for Man City. 101 points. Guys, that's eight Premier League titles in a row now for Man City. That puts them on 60 points. And I literally don't think the record we're going to set here with City is ever going to be broken. It's just crazy. Make that 61. Oh, we lost the Carabao Cup. These points are going to hurt. And oh, a loss in the UEFA Super Cup as well. But it could all be salvaged if Man City win the Champions League. And yes, they've reached the final, of course. And also, boys, we've got our first 99 rated player here in the team. Of course, it's 
Erling Haaland and he casually drops a 50 goal season. Just what a player. But let's see if Man City can get closer and closer to the record by winning the Champions League. And of course, an 89th minute goal from Musiala. Job done. That means after eight seasons, 66 points for Man City. This team is just so freaking insane. Even though Edison and Rodri are kind of old, somehow they're just holding up to their rating so much. I don't get this. I think they're going to win everything all over again. We're now making it through season nine and this could be the season Man City set a new record. And of course, man, of course, a ninth Premier League title in a row for Man City. This is getting crazy. We've crushed the Premier League. Up to 69 points. We're so close to breaking the record. Are we going to get it this season? Well, we're up to 70 points already. No FA Cup, but the Carabao Cup, so 72 points. 73 points for winning the Super Cup. That means we've equaled the takeover record and we've still got one season left. Oh my days, we could be hitting a big one here if we win the Champions League. A new record in the takeover series. And there you go, guys. The record's done. 2-1 against PSG in the final. 78 points. I don't think this is a record that's ever going to get broken. We've got one last season left. What I want to see is how many points we can get to and if Man City can win 10 Premier League titles in a row. That would be just crazy. We've made it to the end of season 10 and Man City just keep doing it boys 10 Premier League titles I don't think this has ever happened in any takeover and the fact that we've not really made that many signings like bro look at our team a lot of the players were already here it's it's crazy oh and that puts us on 81 points make that 82 84 now 85 oh my days this is an unbreakable record at this point and they cannot do it more we've got a final Champions League as well honestly I think what's helped us is having Erling Haaland he's been in cheat code most seasons have changed he scored more than 50 goals. It's time to see if we can win one last Champions League. Come on, let's get this done. And there you go. 90 points in the TakeOver series. This is a record that I don't think is ever going to be broken. It's just crazy to win 10 league titles in a row. Just outrageous. We even got the best of youngsters like Julian Alvarez, Foden, Rico Lewis, 94 rated. Couldn't really get the best out of Doku because we had Foden at the club. But yeah, still, it's crazy. But you know what, guys? I think for future takeovers now that we've got a record that i don't think can be broken we might need to spice things up with the wheel of career mode making its return so yeah the next takeover is gonna be a lot of fun if you guys enjoyed this video why not watch me try and win the champions league with a team of goalkeepers click here to watch that